Dobrze, Marcin, 15 sekund mniej więcej. There we go, there we go. It's not now. Marcin Dzinski has Polish, European and World Championships under his belt. He's beaten the fastest climbers on the circuit. For his next challenge, he's found an opponent to push his speed and strength to the limit. Marcin Dzinski will race this lift to the top of a 23-metre wall. Marcin must climb six storeys and hit that buzzer 23 metres above me before the lift reaches the top. Martin, good to meet you. How are you? Talk us through some of the exercises that you do. The start in speed climbing is important. You have to have the maximum speed from the beginning. The speed climbing mostly depends on your legs. So you have to, to do a lot of jumps and that explosive exercise helps you to improve your power on the wall. How much percentage-wise would you say is physical and, and mental? Just a 20 physical. 80% is mental. In terms of mental preparation that you do for a competition, what sort of things might that be? The most important thing is a visualization. You have to feel move by move. So in terms of this challenge, it's man versus machine. You're going up against a lift. Where do you think you've got some advantages against the lift? I think my advantages is that I can speed up in the, every moment and the lift it uh, has the same speed all the time. So this challenge is all about physics. And to show you what I mean, let's take the lift. I'm going to step on these scales and as we head to the top, watch how my apparent weight changes. I weigh 61 kilograms. As we accelerate, I appear heavier. There I am, up to 65. Here in the middle, traveling at a constant speed, so my weight is the same as it was on the ground. And then as we slow down, I appear lighter. You know that weightlessness feeling that you get when you're in a lift? This is it, it's the proof. This is Newton's second law of motion in action. Force equals mass times acceleration. You see, Marcin uses more force accelerating than he does at constant speed. Now Martin is giving the lift a rolling start, so it's absolutely crucial he capitalizes on this principle. He must quickly reach and maintain a constant speed. Pros like Martin climb the same 15 meter route wherever they compete. They study every hold and strive to perfect every section. I've got my phone, so I'm gonna get the stopwatch on here. Okay. And you tell me when you're ready, and then okay. we'll go. What sort of things can you give me tips-wise for the start? Just grab the start hold, mm -hmm. feel comfortable, and just start climbing. Right, great tip, thanks. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Four point seven eight seconds. Not the best time. In the best performance, it should be like under four seconds in the ten, ten meters. Ten meters. Marcin's ability to make so many decisions in under five seconds is mind blowing. Let's track his center of body mass. His route doesn't veer too much left or right. It's simple and straight, and this is saving him crucial energy. Marcin, I noticed on the run that you did, you actually skipped that third hole. What's the reason for that? I'm skipping some holes. The skipping the hole is helping to speed up the, the whole run. And the other thing I noticed that you were doing is you weren't really worrying about where your legs were. The most important thing in speed is uh, leg power. So you okay. have to put your legs on the footholds. And sometimes we are using the friction. Sometimes friction is like a foothold. So you're just using the friction of the wall itself yes. and not yes. actually a, a leg up. So the challenge ahead for Marcin. Well, the wall in the center was 10 meters. The Olympic standard wall is 15 meters. But the one built here is 23 meters tall. That final eight meters is uncharted territory. Marcin needs to climb this 23 meter wall quicker than the 15 seconds it takes the lift to reach the top. That's an average speed of 1.5 meters per second. I think he's ready. Let's see if he can do it. First attempt on the wall, how are you feeling? Uh, 
pretty stressed because I can do any mistakes. There is a glass, so th there is no friction. Mm -hmm. So I have to keep my legs on the foothold. Good luck for the Thank first you. attempt. Martin's just getting strapped in now, getting ready for that first attempt. I'm nervous for him. You can see him there just visualizing the route like he was doing in training. So, Anjo, all the cameras are rolling. Marchen's about to go for his first attempt. What sort of words of wisdom did you give him before he heads to the wall? Um, just to focus on himself and do what he do the best. Go! Oh! I just lost his footing there. Martin, what happened with that one? So I, I made a mistake. Just missed it with the... Yeah, yeah. Martin, uh, oh. oh! Oh! That was close. I think he might be a little bit tired now. Your mind is totally ready, but then you you know you have to take a break for your body. Is the pressure of the lift getting to you at all? Yeah, I saw the lift and I know that I have to hurry and speed up. Well, you're getting really, really close now. I think you can do it on these next ones. Well done. There we go. Pretty fast. Wow, that was a fast time. Yeah. Pleased? Yeah, a lot. <laughs> so how was that? I learned connection between 15 meters and the last eight meters. Mm -hmm. I was feeling better and better run by run. Well, you did absolutely amazing. You beat the lift. 12.49 <laughs> seconds, I think, is what yeah, you did. Machan, well done.